This question tests your knowledge of the shape and orientation of atomic orbitals. As always, before you start answering a problem, you should read it carefully first, making sure that you understand what each statement means. This problem asks you to consider the set of P and D orbitals with respect to their most probable electron density distribution. In other words, consider the shape of the P and D orbitals. You are told there are eight orbitals in total. Specifically, these are the 3P and 5D orbitals but there are only three distinctly different shapes. You must sketch the three possible shapes. Okay, once you've read the problem and each sentence makes sense to you, you need to plan your answer. And one way of doing that is to just state as concisely as you can what it is you have to do. In this case, the question can be summarized as sketch and label three different shapes of P and D orbitals. When solving the problem, always start with the easiest part first. P orbitals have just one angular node and a nodal plane slicing through the nucleus perpendicular to each of the x, y, and z axes, generating two lobes. As a result, a p orbital simply resembles an hourglass or a figure of eight. I'm going to draw the pz orbital, which points along the z axis. We don't need to add the subscript, so I'll just label it p. D orbitals have two angular nodes. Four of the five d orbitals have two nodal planes at right angles to each other, and these generate orbitals with four lobes resembling a four-leafed clover. I'm going to draw the dxz orbital because this one is easiest to draw as it lies in the same plane as the plane of the page. Note that the lobes point between rather than along the axes. At least that's true for the dxy, dxz, and dyz orbitals, but the dx squared y squared orbital points along the x and y axes, though it has the same shape. Again, we don't have to worry about the subscripts here, so I'll just label it D. The uniquely shaped D orbital has a nodal cone instead of two nodal planes, so it ends up resembling an hourglass with a donut of electron density around the middle, something like this. It's the DZ squared orbital and points along the Z axis. Almost done. The final stage is to check. Have we sketched and labeled three different P and D orbitals? Three sketches, yes, but only two labels. I'll add the last, and we're done.